So for this critique, what do you think the best way to do it is? Let's I don't think it makes paste much it into sense. the group too. I mean, so that you won't be able to see the emojis. This isn't Facebook Live, but let's um, I'll copy this to the group. I can I can share my screen maybe, and we can look at it that way. Okay, I'll copy it in right now. Okay, you're doing that. All right, cool. I will share my screen. So again, we don't normally do copy feedback and critiques and stuff like that on this. I don't, you know, copy starter does that. And so I'm gonna be really careful not to turn this into like uh, specifics. So just please don't let this open the floodgates and say no pretty much in the future. But because I'm having done one in a couple of weeks and I'm enjoying being here with Ben and Saba, you know, like, fuck it, we'll do one. <laughs> um, so you, <laughs> Yeah, right. Um, Michael, let's come. Oh, okay, cool. I got you. Yeah, so um, my, you put in the chat to you. Um, to attract more clients for us at the agency to launch the launch, could you give me your feedback? Um, sorry, I was trying to make this uh, a little bigger. All right, so 436 million companies in the world are at risk of closing. This is the part that the gurus do not tell you of how difficult it is to get started as an entrepreneur, find clients, pay bills, being the one-man band and having to do everything by yourself. Yes, I know. I know all I know all that implies, and that is why I'm here. My name is Michael Alvarado. I'm a digital business consultant and a complete ROI addict, return on investment. Basically, what I do is create systems that generate high-value customers to entrepreneurs who sell services, training, info products, or digital products. Offline businesses that seek to reinvent themselves and know that, di that digital transformation is essential today. Micro enterprises, SMEs, and sole proprietorships that want to grow and move towards a scalable and automated model. If you're looking for clients for your business or training, and you have not climbed to the point of success where you wish to be, I know exactly why. Like most companies, you don't have a proven customer acquisition system, and you may be like the classic business where you are using traditional marketing methods or modern methods the wrong way. Probably the best thing to happen to you today is find out that I create qualified lead generation systems on demand. Why would you say no to a system that generates qualified customers on autopilot? Exactly. It's hard to say no to that. What do I specialize in? Product formula launches, automated, blah, 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 blah. Um, if you're looking to create an automated online business while enjoying a free lifestyle living off your, oh. enjoying a free lifestyle living off your passion, then I am uh, the we person. Did you lose me from it? Yeah. What's funny is Stefan's internet in Las Vegas is terrible being a super successful damn it back on we'll give him another minute okay there he is. <laughs> <laughs> that's super annoying i mean it's so crazy because like i it was where i live is like right up by like the mountains of like red rock national preserve so like i don't have other internet options like i've got like the nicest internet i'm pretty sure i'm gonna ask julia to double check and, and like look at my cox account <laughs> but i'm like pretty sure i'm like the top tier i don't think there's like a better op like, there's no like t1 or like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't think there's like a better option. Um, yeah. So, but I feel like I was pretty far into that ad. So, um, but yeah, I don't know where I cut, what did I cut out? What part did I cut out on? I think just right after the green bullets. So I think we're good. That's where it kind of ends. Right. Um, okay, all right. Create an automated online business while enjoying a free lifestyle, living off your passion. The free, I don't understand exactly what this means. Um, but the numbers you're looking for, do you want to know us better? Brilliant. Join my private group on Telegram where I'm 40,000 entrepreneurs. Um, I'm not sure this is someone's feedback at the end of it. Yeah, it looks like somebody else's feedback. Okay, which was that? Oh, yeah, I screwed that up. That's oh. user error, I believe. I mean, oh, no, maybe he screwed that up. He is here, yeah. I feel like he's not talking <laughs> enough. You know, yourself, introduce yourself far too early before digging into the pain points of their feedback. Um, yeah, I mean, overall, I think the ads actually, you know, it's pretty well written, especially for if you're early on. Um, the one thing I'm a little concerned about is I feel like it's got too much going on where it's hard to, for me to be like, is this for me or not? Because I think it starts out like fine if the guru is not telling you the difficulty of being an entrepreneur. And you're like, okay. And then we're kind of like, 
saying three different types of people with like entrepreneurs, offline businesses, and micro enterprises. I'm still like kind of okay with that at this point. Um, but like, like the part about uh, I create qualified lead generation systems on demand. Why would you say no to that? Like, you know, no reason. Like that, you know, that's cool. Good, clear value proposition. I think once we get to here where it's like product launch formulas, this is part I skipped over because now I feel like my head is just sort of swimming with like too much stuff going on. Because now I'm like, these are all different things. And we're talking about like different people here. And we kind of talked about the different pain points. I just sort of feel like that's the part where like I get wanting to talk about different examples, but to me, this becomes like a jack of all trades thing where, and we're talking like an automated business and there's like a telegram group. I just started to get confused. I just like, I don't think, I think there's a clarity issue when we get to that point where it's like, wait, what exactly do you offer? Like, what are you, are you talking to me? Like, wait, what do you do? Should I work with you? Like, I, I get kind of confused. I'm curious, Saba, what your take is as well though. Yeah, I would agree. I think you're talking too broadly for, you said at the beginning, your avatar is online course creators. And so your entire, all of the copy needs to be just directed at them. If that's who you're trying to attract, that's the key thing with Facebook ads and even LinkedIn. I mean, if, if you know that this is your target market, then everything you're talking about needs to be just about course creators. So in the first part where you say, um, you know, 436 million companies in the world are at risk of closing, Sure, that's a compelling statistic, but for online course creators specifically, I think they already know that. That's why they decided to create an online course and have decided to monetize their skills and get online and things like that. So you have to kind of think of what is their biggest um, you know, fear. And I think a lot of it is that they're not getting enough sales, right? Like they're not getting enough customers buying their products. They don't know how to market their course properly. They've got a great course. They're really passionate about whatever skill they're teaching and everything, but they just don't have a community or anything like that. So you almost have to kind of interrupt them and say, Hey, I know what you're dealing with, you know, like this, 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 and that's where you would use the bullets. Like I agree with Stefan that this is really well written for a first time, you know, run, but um, it's, you know, it follows like all the principles of how to space out the copy and format and use bullets and emojis and things like that. Um, but the copy is just, it's not, it wouldn't resonate with your with your avatar. So restructuring it so you're hitting them with at the beginning, you definitely want to, you know, focus on some startling fact if you want to. Or you can just say, you know, this is for course online course creators struggling to get customers or who can't not don't use the word struggle. I just learned that the other day. Um, but uh, you know, who are tired of uh, you know not getting sales of their of their programs, something like that. And the way that you would position yourself or as an agency is that you are like the leader in helping online course creators, you know, get massive sales and you do it with XYZ method or you have a program. I don't know what you offer as your agency service, the platform or whatever it is. That's how you would introduce the services that are available to them. Um, and as far as the call to action goes, if you're just looking for lead gen here, it sounds like you want people to get into your telegram group. You have to be very clear that, you know, join my group and I'll give you a free guide on, you know, how to, how to get 10 sales by the end of this week or something like that. Like you've got to give them something, you've got to give them an incentive to, to join or take action. Yeah, for sure. I really like, I'll put this thing in chat. This is one from Josh Snow. I saw today and I shared it with my team. Cause I like this cause it has sort of like a stat type thing too. I mean, it's like in 1990, Oracle had their best year ever and hit 1 billion sales. But instead of celebrating and promoting people, their CEO, Larry Ellison did something unexpected. Uh, he fired his management team, his entire management team. People had been with him since day one and whom he loved and respected. And he hired a brand new group of people. Why? So he knew that going from 1 billion to 10 billion and beyond was going to require a completely different set of skills than going from zero to a billion. And his old team simply didn't have it. The takeaway here is building an eight or nine figure brand requires a different set of skills than growing a, a store to six or seven figures. This is an extreme example, but my point is your current situation is no different. My name is Josh and I've spent over 5 million of my own money uh, learning lessons like this. So it's not like necessarily quite the pain points on this one, but I just think like for his market, like as I'm his market, I saw the ad. I'm like, fuck, that's so true. You always hear that a different team is going to get you from like, you know, zero to a million that gets you from a million to 10 million to 10 million to 100 million, 100 million to a billion and so forth. The same like we know. Um, and it's sort of an interesting pattern erupt, right? It's the idea of this company hit a billion dollars in sales and then Larry Ellison fired everybody. And you're immediately curious. There's, there is curiosity there because you're like, well, why did Larry Ellison like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? Like, why did he fire everybody? And then he makes a really interesting point that as the market, I'm like, that's totally true. 
And then he takes that to like to go to eight or nine figures, which now he's talking specifically to his market because most of us aren't having billion dollar companies. And it's like, you know, um, uh, you know, it's different than getting a seven, six or seven figure store. So I guess really he's talking to like six or seven figure store owners, but who want to go to eight or nine figures. Um, so, you know, they kind of qualifies you, like he kind of is credibly about himself, qualifies you, um, established e-com entrepreneur that feels stuck behind an invisible revenue ceiling where he's calling out pain points here. Um, and then I'm gonna open the door for you. Here's my offer, join my inner circle. I'll make sure that's possible. Click close, submit your application. I'll go back to you ASAP if you qualify. Um, a little bit of scarcity, whatever. And he has a video too, but like, I just think like this is a really nice ad because it's like so, it's interesting, engaging, speaks to the market. Um, I mean, it helps that Josh, you know, is kind of known in our space. So I think he can get away with like a little bit more of like um, a little more cerebral with this part, but it's very clear. The offer is very clear, right? Like, hey, are you an entrepreneur who is doing six or seven figures and wants to go to eight or nine figures or beyond? Like my team can help you, like apply here and my team helps you, right? It's a very clear offer. So I don't know, hopefully that helps, but he's comparing kind of contrasting to what we were just looking at here, which again, totally, um, you know, a great first attempt, but it's sort of just like not clear who is to, there's like a, a lack of clarity. The call to action is kind of confusing. Um, I know it's a tel telegram thing at the end, but uh, just so, so I don't know, I figured maybe from illustrative purposes, that would be helpful. Here's a link to the ad if you want to see it. I'll put it in the uh, Facebook Live too. Sweet. I think that just went to panelists, Stefan. Oh, because I reset. Yeah. Fair enough. Okay. But yeah, that was a good, that is a good ad. And I think I actually saw comments on that ad or another one from him where, the, or maybe it was somebody else that was saying like, are you a struggling as a seven figure business owner who wants to take you to the next level? And there were like snarky comments about, oh, what a bad problem to have that you're a seven figure, you know, figure business owner. Right. But if you, if you read the ad, you would see that they had really talked about their pain points. Cause even when someone's at seven figures, they still have a lot of problems, right? That they need to fix. And they, and if they do want to get to the next level, they have to do certain things before they can. So that is a very big pain point for that avatar. And I think yeah. for this online course creator one, you need to maybe focus a bit more on the research. If you can just list like five or six bullet points of what they're really struggling with, you know, do your research, find other, um, you know, agencies that serve this market, you'll start get targeted, you'll get targeted with their ads as well. And you'll notice that there's trends about, you know, specific things that are really bothering these people. 